welcome to the Lava Loopsy Kitchen. I'm Tahani. And I'm Diana. And today we're celebrating Valentine's Day by making no fake peanut butter oatmeal hearts. Step one, ingredients. First we'll need half cup of honey, half a cup of peanut butter, one cup of non-fat dry milk, one cup of quick cooking oats, sprinkles, Lava Loopsy heart-shaped measuring spoon, and heart-shaped decorations. Want to be my Lava Loopsy Valentine? With all of my heart-shaped measuring spoons. <laughs> Step two, mixing. To start, pour all of your ingredients into a big bowl. So thick, must keep stirring. Stirring this is hard, but you have to be strong. Make sure you get all of this good stuff. Peanut Big Top Celebrate would love this peanut butter mixture. Elephant and I have that in common. Step three, heart shapes. First, take out your heart-shaped measuring spoons that come with your Lala Leapsy baking oven. Spray the largest heart-shaped measuring spoon with cooking spray. Then, fill it with the mixture, pressing all the way in until it forms a heart, like this. When you're done, use a toothpick to pop out the mixture and onto a piece of parchment paper. Here. I heart you. Here, I blob you. <laughs> <laughs> when you're done making the hearts, decorate with sprinkles. I'm just going to do it. OK. <laughs> <laughs> you can even take two at a time. Don't sprinkle me, sprinkle the cookies. <laughs> a cookie without sprinkles is the saddest thing. I know. So let's sprinkle it up. Sprinkle, sprinkle, little heart. How I wonder how you taste. Are you breaking my heart? Of course not. It's a friendship heart. Half for you and half for me. Happy Valentine's Day. Uh, I love it. When you're done, refrigerate overnight and voila! No fake peanut butter oatmeal heart. And now it's time to eat. <laughs> oh my. Happy Valentine's Day! Dear Tahani, you have a heart of gold, correction. I have a heart of cookie dough. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> hey everybody and welcome to Lala Loopsy Kitchen. I'm Dariana. And I'm Tahani. And we have a so, so special recipe for you today. We're making queso dias. I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited. I'm so, so queso excited. <laughs> <laughs> Step one, ingredients. To start, we'll need tortillas, shredded cheese, and a cookie cutter. Pro tip, a small cookie cutter of any shape works too, just as long as it fits in your pan. And don't forget our final ingredient, sombreros. These are so not ingredients. But they're so, so festive. Arriba! <laughs> Step two, tortillas! To start, have your Lala Lipsy baking oven preheated for 20 minutes. Next, use any shaped cookie cutter to cut out a shape from the tortilla. Take the sharp side of the cookie cutter and just push it in and lift up the rest of my tortilla. I heart quesadillas. I round quesadillas. <laughs> <laughs> cut out another shape to have two sides to your quesadilla. Hola! <laughs> I'm a quesadilla bandito. <laughs> There's more than one way to use a tortilla. <laughs> when you're done cutting the tortilla shapes, arrange one piece in the baking pan and sprinkle cheese in the center of it. And you can sprinkle as much cheese as you want. This is the time to be cheesy. <laughs> Next, place the second tortilla piece on top to cover the cheese. And now the cheese has a sombrero. <laughs> <laughs> and then have your queso dias baked in your Lala Lipsy baking oven for five minutes. When the quesadillas are cooled, it's time for... Step three, designs! With your straw, poke four buttonholes in your tortilla like this. Voila! Or use your straw to cut out an original design onto your quesadilla, like polka dots. Press really, really hard. 
push it through upside down. You could do however many polka dots you want to. I can see you. Your quesadilla is looking a lot like Swiss cheese. Yours is as cute as a button. Thank you. And when you've finished making enough for everyone, decide on some fun sides to serve with them. Salsa and a dollop of sour cream taste great with quesadillas. Or rice, lettuce, and beans. And then, once you've found the perfect pair, it's finally time to... Eat! <laughs> it's good on its own. And it's also good with sour cream. These are taste so delicious. Esta estrella es deliciosa. Hey everybody and welcome to the Lala Loopsy Kitchen. I'm Tahani. And I'm Dariana. Today we're going to make Lala Button Ice Cream Sandwiches. Step one, ingredients. All right, people, we're going to need Lala Loopsy Button Cookies, ice cream, sprinkles, a cup, a straw, and a new pair of sunglasses. Excuse me? What? Who says they can't look cute while baking? <laughs> Step two, cookies! You can get creative with your Lala Loopsy baking oven and make a fresh batch of these awesome Lala Loopsy cookies. Check out the recipe by clicking the link here. When did you make those? Oh, just a little TV magic, darling. <laughs> What are we going to do with all these extra cookies? I have a couple ideas. Sugar, sugar cookie. Sugar, sugar cookie. Sugar, sugar cookie. And flour! While the cookies are still warm, take a glass and use the rim to press a circular groove inside the cookie, giving an edge to the button lock. <laughs> My cup doesn't come out. There. <laughs> Let's try another one since that didn't go so well. <laughs> Make sure that you don't press it as hard because then it wouldn't work. Then take your straw and poke four holes in the shape of a square to make it look like a button. Here's a tip. If you don't have any straws, then you could just use a wooden spoon or a chopstick. Step four, ice cream! After your cookies are nice and solid, what do we do next, Ariana? We take your scooper, or if you don't want a scooper, just pour it on your cookies. It's optional, but it's time for ice cream. So you can have whatever ice cream you want. You don't even have to make yours look beautiful. Because the more, the better. Try to make yours as gigantic as you can. Oh, wow. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't fall. <laughs> After you put the ice cream on, make sure you have your second cookie and put it on gently. That way it won't break. Because if it breaks, then you won't have a top. Yeah. <laughs> Step five, sprinkles. After you're done filling your ice cream sandwich with ice cream, take you whatever sprinkles you would like and pour it on a separate plate. Then, what you want to do is take your ice cream sandwich and roll it sideways through the sprinkle until your, all of your ice cream is covered. Incoming! Oh! I said cover the ice cream, not your fingers. Maybe, but now I get to do this. <laughs> now, it's time to eat. <laughs> yeah! Now you have made your ice cream sandwiches. If you have extra cookies, keep the sandwiches coming. subscribe button right here. Or check us out online here. Don't forget, you can get in on the conversation too by posting a picture of your creation with hashtag Lala Lipsy Kitchen. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Adios. Hasta la vista. See, See you later, alligator. Hey guys, welcome to Lala Lipsy 
Kitchen. I'm Jillian. And I'm hungry for today's recipe, peanut butter fudge. Woohoo! Step one, ingredients. Yeah! To start, we'll need one half cup of powdered sugar, one tablespoon of creamy peanut butter, two teaspoons of cocoa, two and a half teaspoons of milk, one half teaspoon of soft butter, one fourth teaspoon of vanilla, and some dance music. I call this move the Lala Lucy Kitchen Shimmy. I call this move the Yummy Fudge Shake. Step two, mixing. To start, have your Lala Lucy baking oven preheated for 20 minutes. Then, spray the pan that comes with your Lala Lucy baking oven with cooking spray. You sprayed so hard you moved the pan. <laughs> In a bowl, mix in all of your ingredients until smooth. It smells like vanilla. <laughs> Butter. Or maybe we could just I, I don't, I, use yeah. like this. Oh, yay! Peanut butter. Oh, man, it didn't work. Here, let me just do this, and then we can use this for that. Yeah. Oh. Let's see this magic. <laughs> stir the batter. Stir, stir the batter. I knew my dance moves would come in handy. Stir the batter. Stir, stir the batter. Say what? Stir the batter. When you're done, spread the mixture into your greased baking pan. I call this move taste the batter. Diana, you have some on your chin. Did I get it? Half of it. I don't think your tongue's long enough. <laughs> Once the pan is full of fudge, it's time for step three. Baking! Your fudge will need to be baked in your Lala Loopsy baking oven for five minutes. And when your fudge is done, let it cool off and place it in the fridge for 20 minutes. While you wait for your fudge to be done, it's time to take a nice relaxing break. I think you mean a dance, dance break. break! Shimmy, shimmy, shake, say what? Shimmy, shimmy, shake, say what? Shimmy, shimmy, shake, say what? Shake, say what? <laughs> when your fudge is ready, have it cut into pieces so there's enough for everyone. And now it's time to... Enjoy! Mm. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> the peanut butter. This fudge makes me want to dance. Everything makes you want to dance. Shimmy, shimmy, shake. Shimmy, <laughs> shimmy, shake. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, like what you see? Then don't forget to subscribe to our channel right here. Or check us out at lalaloopsie.com. Don't forget, you can join the conversation too. Just grab an adult and post pictures of your creation with hashtag lalaloopsiekitchen. See you soon. Arriba See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Aloha. 